everybody. Welcome back. This is Compost Chicken Queens Plus. In this case, plus a traditional, I know this to be a traditional, hand-forged Chinese kitchen knife, which I saw uh, featured on a really cool web uh, YouTube channel that does happen to idealize uh, traditional Chinese culture. It's not in any way realistic, particularly since the Communist Party uh, doesn't allow people from China to use YouTube unless they are propagandizing. But, however, the uh, channel in question happens to be, I don't know, just very artistic. It idealizes Chinese culture, traditional, non- communist Chinese culture, which I can't see as a bad thing, other than it's pure escapism and doesn't reflect reality, sadly. Anyways, this I have been waiting in the mail for. It was due to arrive. Uh, excuse me, it's very hot and I'm having trouble breathing. Uh, I expected it to be in the mail last month, but a month ago, to date, actually, no. 16th or so of July. Just arrived today in the mail just as I had left a message through Shopify saying that the package had not arrived. I come outside and it's in my mailbox. Something like that happens. <laughs> I wish it happened more often. There are other things that I'm still waiting for. Anyway, let us begin. I'm not sure how to set this up. It's a little awkward. I don't have a I don't have a tripod that will fit on my phone yet. I have to work something out. In the meantime, we'll improvise. I'm gonna turn the phone around. I can't see. There. No, that's okay. To this new monthly parcel. This also happens to be a President's Choice ceramic. I'm trying to see the blade. Ceramic. Yes. Knife. Very cute. I love ceramic. My dear friend Dave, who helps me with the animals, gave this to me. Use it to open the other kitchen knife. <laughs> yes, this is the name of the shop. And if you, believe if you look this name up on, come on phone, on YouTube, you can find the absolutely enchanting video, TV or video series, video channel um, of this name. Or you could go to the website directly, and. Excuse me. And then that link will take you to this really, really amazing video collection. Um, products I haven't seen in real life. This is the first one. It was cheaper than the big one, but even this seems like quite the size. This is reputed and shown on the videos to be. There we go. I apologize, I'll turn this over so you don't have to play. Can I be like Leonardo da Vinci and read backwards? So there we go. And I will flip the camera again so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Simple presentation, but very nice. A young lady in this video seems to be very talented. So far, nicely parceled. She has used. <laughs> yes, this is like a cleaver. It's very vicious. She's used this to cut down small trees. The branches about are the trunks about between this big and this big. Um, bamboo, of course, which is not nearly as strong as the average tree. Uh, she's cooking. It cleaves bone, which is 
part of the reason I got it, because I have a, uh, quite a need for such abilities in my knives. Uh, being as that I'm a carnivore, predominantly raw, I can't wait to try this out. It's like a real badass tool. It's already comes pre-sharpened. Let's see if I can see how. Come on, phone. Hmm. Not doing so good. With the... I guess I don't get all the features when I use the other side of the camera. There. It's very nice. It's forged out of a solid piece of metal, which is very good. It's very rustic. Comes with a little bit of soot, or not soot, but you know, a bit of tarnishing. Which is fine. Um, the instructions were to put cooking oil on it. I'm very impressed. It's beautiful. And I'm going to test it out. Let me find some stuff. I'll put this on pause. Okie dokie, well, found an item which can test this bad boy on. This is a frozen pig's trotter, a frozen pig's foot. I can't see how thick the bone is, it's too frozen at this moment, but we'll give this a game, a game try. There we go. Never done this before, ladies and gentlemen. The mm, I've not had a meat cleaver. I call this meat cleaver. Of such substantial quality, and it's very basic. I mean, I don't know if you can see. Oh, there we go. Simple, simple, simple is beautiful, right? This I've already tested it in the backyard while I was looking for limbs. This was not hard. Let's see. Oop. There. This is frozen. I don't want to put my hand on this in case I get stupid and <laughs> Ooh, bounces around. Well, you can see it's already taking. So you would not want to be on the business end of this puppy. Oop. Pardon me. It's probably not too good to be wearing your headphones. I should leave a warning in the description box saying don't put your earphones in please oh piece went flying see this is she didn't have frozen food in her videos being more traditional they probably don't the cats are gonna love this it's chips of beef going everywhere right, pork Oof. Pretty vicious, yes. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. You mean, can this go through bone? Absolutely. Uh, this is a little awkward because it's so slippery. And we'll do the carnivore thing. Can you eat raw pig? Yep, you can. I'm gonna put this on pause. Mm, to eat. Well, I got the rooms that I was going to show you. Now, we're back. Well, this phone's getting hot. I actually cut this to make a smaller piece to carry. And I will show you again. I'm not sure how to set this up. I'll go like this and put it on the ground. Is a dead wood, so it's not perhaps as difficult to go through. But we'll show you. Anyways, I don't want to hit the ground. I don't want to dent it. But I don't know if you can see that. You could chop down the tree with this. It might take a while. And hurts. But yeah, look at that, right? Can you do that with a normal meat flavor? I kind of did. Easily see how she chopped through small trees. 
Interesting. Not all things from China are bad quality. This, this should be proud of. Good stuff. The communism crap needs to go away. We need to bring back the traditional, good quality stuff. Be proud of themselves. Yeah. There's a bigger limb. It is. Well, as you can see, it has leaves attached. It has been sitting in my backyard for the oh, better part of a week. Let's see what else. Oh, the list. There we go. Still green. You can see it's making some pretty good headways through there. And this is the small one, so I um, think the big one is about maybe that much bigger. I don't remember exactly, but you know, you should use this to cut your bones for your food, cut wood for the fire. Whoa. This is pretty. Pretty damn good. I'll show you. Oh my god, so far. Wow, my phone's getting really hot.